All right, my friends, so today uh, we are gonna go for a little motorcycle ride, I think. Yep, and we're testing out this new upgraded helmet strap mount from Telesin. Oh yes, uh, we've used their original, the previous, the blue one, we'll say. Uh, this is it here, the Telesin helmet chin mount. Uh, I used it for uh, a long time. Um, and the biggest reason I bought it was that it was not overly expensive. And it did what I needed. I have multiple helmets, so it was very easy for me to move it from one helmet to another. But uh, it broke. Yeah, it got a crack because I was trying to pull the straps, I think, too tight. And it was cold outside, like five or six degrees above Celsius. And uh, it, it broke. So, uh, Telesin reached out and uh, said, hey, do you want to try our, this is it right here, the upgraded, yes, the upgraded version, um, right here. It even says upgraded helmet strap mount. So it looks a little different and I'm hoping that it sits a little nicer because uh, the old one fit good, not perfect, good, uh, and it broke. Uh, and this one's, you're looking at still about, you know, about $3 more, I think it is, right? $42, that's Canadian. You'll probably get it cheaper if you're buying somewhere else. But material upgrade, nice. Plastics is made from a high strength nylon, stainless steel for metal parts, I'm with you. Uh, by fold, and this is really nice too. This is a foldable, because the other one didn't have a fold, and I think that's where I ended up, uh, some of it got broken when it got cold, is because of the fact that I had to bend the plastic a bit. So that wasn't good. Fits probably more helmets, especially the off-road, and it was the actual off-road one, uh, my adventure helmet, that had the issue. So that's, that's really good. Thicker uh, non-slip granules, very cool, securely attached. Uh, this one, is this saying it's attached by Velcro now? Oh, Velcro maybe. Yeah, the other one was like just nylon straps. Uh, this one definitely looks like it's, uh, I don't know if they're thicker or, yeah, see. Easy dismantle, tight and non-detachable, high quality bonding tape. Curious. And uh, that, that's, that's the magic right there. All right, well, we're going to give it a go. Let's give it a go. All right, my friends, $40. Is it well spent? Because uh, I do have some mounts that are I use a lot, it's like a clamp style, uh, uh, but expensive, right? Very nice for moving back and forth, but expensive. Uh, this, a little more reasonable. So we like reasonably priced for action cams. For action cams. That's what I'm, that's what I'm using it for, action cam. Okay. And that's that's it right there. So you got, got a little little screw for your GoPro or whatever. Oh yeah, that already feels. Oh, I like that. It literally has. You guys see that? It's literally got like a little hinge in it. Oh, that's gonna be much nicer, especially going around because adventure helmets have. If you can see it here, right in this one. So they have that like peak that comes up here. So this is gonna get around that much nicer. Okay, and then this looks like, uh, see that's nicer too. Well thought, see this goes here and then you just, and it's on there. The other one was like a, a band with a clamp, but I always found that it would, you couldn't either get it really tight or, uh, it would just slowly slip over time and you start it off tight and halfway through you'd realize your GoPro was kind of floating around just doing this because the bands wouldn't tighten. Oh, and I like that right and left. That's, that's nice. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna put it on an adventure helmet, but I do have, I'd like that they give you one of these too, just to kind of get it in there. So I don't lose that, I'll just stick that. And that's, a, that's actually a nice, a nice little screw because it's, yeah, a lot of them you try to tighten and you're like, that's not going anywhere. Okay, all right. So far I'm like, I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Okay, where's, I have a helmet. Okay, I have a helmet. So, it's grungy. I haven't worn this helmet in a while. And I'll need to uh, clean it. So, don't judge. I'm gonna put that just right there. You guys should hopefully be able to see that, I think. 
So basically this would just fit on here and these kind of just, I like the fact that they kind of just angle however you need them to angle. You guys, right, you see that right there? And then these go up, okay. And then you just take one or two, whatever. One at a time, just enough, just to get it in there. And the other thing I like too, uh, I think, just get that is fairly close. That's too close. That's too much, too much, too much. Make sure you get it where you need it to go. So that's going right, right in the center there. All right, get it where you need it. Don't go too tight. Don't go too tight to start with. Because if not, you'll have to adjust it and un untighten everything anyway. So get that there. Just get it so and so. So and so. And then this side comes around. Same deal. Just kind of turn it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Same deal here. All right? Is that centered? Yep. Yeah. Just give it a little snug on its own band. Same thing on this side, just a little snug. Oh yeah, that's that's way nicer. Way nicer than the old one, and that's that's not gonna go anywhere. And you could, the other ones too, like they had, I don't know if you can see it, but they always had the, the straps, because of the way the straps were designed, they were always hanging out the bottom, and you were just like, Arr. This one you can snug up, and they, because it's Velcro, they, they snug into each other. The whole thing just can come all the way up here if it needs to. Same thing with the other side. Just kind of give it a tighten. Boom. Okay, no, I like that. That's nice. That that fits really good. And no, no danglies. No danglies, because they're always down there. And that fits, oh, that fits very nice. That fits very nice. Okay, so let's, let's put a GoPro on here. Let's put a GoPro on here. And uh, let's let's go for a little ride. It looks nice out. Yeah. All right, my friends. So uh, let's go for a little ride. And first off, uh, the the probably the thing I, I like the most about, and I'm shooting with two uh, Insta360 cameras. Um, you'll see one there. This is one of the original Insta 361 X's, and then I have the Insta 361 R here. And I like the fact with this, I can mount it down, I can mount it up, whatever. Uh, and you know that you're capturing your footage properly. There's none of this. I hope it's, you know, seeing what it needs to see because I can spin, I can spin it around. I can do whatever I want with it, which I love. Let's see if this starts. Very good. All right, so the key right now is um, how, how, how is it? You guys will be able to see it, hopefully, on this camera here as we're riding. I'll try not to bang into one of the cars. That's kind of important. And we'll just do a, a small little ride around the neighborhood. Okie dokie. All right, and I'm hoping the audio is recording because I'm testing with a new mic today as well. Just a little mic hooked into the Insta361R. You may be able to see, no, maybe not. There's a little piece of foam, not foam, but like a wind muff inside there. So hopefully it's doing its job. I haven't ridden much this year at all. Just so busy with the move and so busy getting everything reset up and the house kind of put together. It's crazy. Uh, but finally, it's house is almost complete just in time for fall and winter to come. You can see the trees are kind of, looks like they're changing, changing colors, which is kind of nice. For you guys out there, we are going on a, uh, a little bit of a weekend trip out to Cape Breton again. 
I don't know, two weekends, I think, from now? About that? Two weekends from now? Well, it could be uh, past when you, when you guys are watching this. Who knows? But middle, middle of October. So we're hoping the trees will be in full bloom, full colors at that point. And of course, we'll, or I'll be recording it because why wouldn't I? What's a holiday without doing some recording? Anyways, you guys can see the little town that we live in. This is the uh, this is the uh, downtown area. We have a home hardware, which is exciting, and we have an independent grocery store and a pharmacy save, and that's about it. That's about all. Cool little old houses though, which is nice. other nice thing that I like about living out here versus we used to live for those that are new to the channel thanks for stopping by and if you're been around here for a while thanks for sticking with us um, it, one of the nicest things I find about living where we live now is you don't have to go far to find roads that are nice to ride on uh, where we used to live which was in Ottawa you usually had to ride for about an hour to get somewhere before you're like, oh, finally the roads are nice and twisty and curvy and all this kind of stuff. And now I don't, I don't have to do that. I can go for go for an hour-long drive in total, and you know, the majority of it is nice and twisty and fun and all this kind of stuff. So we'll kind of slide in here. Cool. Nice. And hopefully you guys, and like I'm talking a lot, which I don't need to be doing for too long inside this video, but hopefully you guys get an idea of how secure this feels. And I think one of the biggest checks for me is how it feels or how it, uh, uh, how tight it still feels to the helmet uh, after I've gone for my ride because the old one, the version one, I guess, the version one was um, I don't even know if that was recording. Here we go. I had the 360 camera on there, and I think I, it didn't it didn't turn on. So it's on now. You guys will be able to see. Hopefully, I didn't just be yapping for this whole time. Um, you'll be able to see now what this looks like. Anyways, the big the big thing for me, the hope for me, I think, is with the old one. You could have it nice and tight when you started your ride and you'd be riding around like this, you know, going over some bumps or doing whatever. And you weren't really paying attention. And then when you finally got back to wherever you did a stop, you check, you check your camera. Of course, you're like, oh my gosh, that's super loose, right? Not loose, like falling off loose, but loose enough to make it feel like maybe a concern or loose enough so that you were, uh, if your camera didn't have great stabilization, because we talk about shooting with GoPros, of course, and we talk about, like for myself, I'm shooting with Insta360, and the stabilizers on those are, are quite, quite good, so you could kind of get by. But if you were running, you know, maybe something, an older GoPro, or just something that didn't have that same level of stabilization, then, you know, that that's kind of, that's kind of when it becomes a concern. And, you know, if you're, again, riding, and you're constantly having to be like, oh, is my camera okay? Is it, is it, is it up there? Is it doing what it's supposed to? I gotta just keep checking, right? Then that always is something that's, you know, you, you need to be focused more on what's ahead of you if you're gonna be wearing a, a camera and just trust that it's gonna be where you left it. So right now I'm looking in here and, and it's, it is, like I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, that's, that's solid. That's not going anywhere, which is fantastic. I love it. So this one, as of now, and I haven't gone and looked at the footage, of course, but we will. We'll, we'll, we'll go back.
back after and I'll take a look at the footage and then I'll give you of course my my final thoughts um, in regards to what I think of this little amount but right now uh, I, I do think that they they took into consideration into consideration probably a lot of what people that use the first one were maybe complaining about and I think I think the big ones were uh, for one if you did wear or were riding a helmet that wasn't just a nice rounded front on it like like this one is uh, and you're riding like an adventure helmet or a dirt bike helmet or something like that it didn't fit well it was really hard you, you kind of had to get it off to the side and because your camera had to mount flush you know you, you kind of had a bunch of issues at that point so that was that was kind of concern number one uh, concern number two was uh, those silly straps that was probably the biggest one right those silly straps they for one they were just dangling down here all the time I used to try to tuck them into themselves which was great for about the first half hour of my ride but once you got some wind they would they would catch and all of a sudden you'd be like feeling something on your neck or the bottom of your chin and you know those silly straps just floating away uh, switching to this velcro such a smart idea because for one I do think you can get it tighter and it shouldn't loosen because the originals had that buckle and that buckle even if you got it tight to start with it just would slowly slip over time probably not bad if you were riding like a big gold wing or something like that or a Harley which had a lot of wind protection oh, I got a fair bit of wind protection but I also like to go on the bumps and I like to get out there and float around a lot more uh, that's when you really notice it but I you know if you're if you're completely protected and inside a nice like air bubble then probably not as big a concern because not a whole lot of wind is hitting you in the first place so it all depends but this in my opinion a much nicer design uh, and it, it, something that I wasn't even kind of too aware or concerned with was the actual grippy stuff that's on the uh, back of the mount the rubber uh, definitely it just it just you can tell that it's gonna kind of stick itself so that it's like anti-slip I guess for for the mount on your helmet because you can look at me and I haven't I haven't touched this at all it, it's not moving it's not moving at all so you know what I think honestly like this is a great combo is something like a, a something that has decent stabilization so GoPro or Insta360 I love the Insta360 even though the 360 only shoots in 1080 for YouTube plenty fine and the fact is I can reframe which is like yeah so good uh, and then another one here but your helmet camera this mount you're living the dream yep living the dream I think that's that's very good oh so this is kind of my halfway mark so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut this off for you guys because I'm yammering again and uh, I'm going to take this traffic circle and kind of head back home and then you and I can uh, well I you've seen the footage because that's what you're looking at right now right not that it's a big deal you're you're running 360 footage it should be stable but you got a good view of how it mounts on there and got a little trek around uh, my my new neighborhood so uh, other here's another question and I've and I failed to do it and I apologize because I had a lot of people asking me to do it should I should I go out for more rides and just record it because the season's ending but I probably got I probably got another month I probably got another month so if you guys want to see some of the areas around here especially when the trees are starting to float and change color uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to do it but that's that's uh that's it for me on this ride uh, I'll see you guys back at the house all right my friends so we are back in the house and uh, I want to make this part fairly quick because the rest of the video was much probably longer than either of us expected but you got a little ride out of the deal um, here's the simple answer is this upgraded version of the Telesyn motorcycle mount better? 100% and I'd say it's better in pretty much every way possible. Uh, I've actually now gone on a couple rides since the ride you just saw 
with this. I haven't actually played with this at all. Haven't had to tighten it, haven't had to do anything. You can see it's, it's on there just as firmly as when I put it on the very first time, which is really good. Um, hold your camera just as good as it, it should, right? Uh, way better than the original. You know, if you have an original and you're fine with it, do you need to upgrade? Well, probably not. If it's working, it's working. If you had one and you're like, ah, it has the issues that I kind of said it had, right? It loosened, it didn't fit around like an adventure helmet, things like that. Then this may be a great time to upgrade and they're not overly expensive, right? Right now you're looking at about $40 Canadian. I'm sure if you snoop around the internet, you may even be able to find them cheaper. Um, but compared to a lot of other options, which I own as well, this is definitely one of the more inexpensive and budget friendly versions. And uh, because of the Velcro, I find, once it's on there, you don't get the danglies. Nobody wants the danglies. Uh, and it's, I think, much easier to take on and off your helmet. You just un-Velcro it, it's, it's off. Revelcro, it's on. So it literally takes like a minute to move it from one helmet to the other. Plus, good mount on the front, uh, good sticky, right? It actually doesn't slide on there either. And uh, yeah, it works. It just works. That's it, guys. That's it. That's it for me. There, there, there it be right there, right? There it be. If you have any questions on the updated, I, I'm going to say version two of the Telesyn motorcycle helmet mount, uh, leave them down in the comments. If you have version one or version two, let us know your thoughts on them. And uh, if there is another uh, brand of helmet mount, let us know about it, about it. Maybe maybe we'll see if we can get one and give it a try as well. All right, guys, links down below to this, this fella. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably put up a video in the next day or two of one of the other rides that we did just just around around here because uh why not all right guys i'm out later